Good afternoon, it's Jan from Twink Stamping. I'm an independent UK demonstrator. Uh, coming along today on a beautiful sunny day outside. Um, blue skies, wall to wall, absolutely gorgeous. I wish it was like this all the time, uh, not too hot. Anyway, um, I've come along today to um, show you a little um, gift bag that I've made. Um, the reason I've made it is because I've got several of these little um, uh, bath salt uh, gifts um, that I wanted to um, send to a few ladies as a little thank you. Um, yeah, and I didn't want to just send it out like this. I wanted to actually make something pretty for it to go in. So what I've made, let me pop it in there so that you can see, is this. It's a little pocket envelope. And I've popped the sorts in there. So today I thought I would show you how to construct one of these envelopes. Um, yeah, I haven't really decorated it very much because it's quite a lot going on on the papers. Um, I've just cut out some um, scallop circle, um, a plain circle and then a stitched circle. Um, cut out a little butterfly and added some ribbon. Beautiful ribbon. Love this one. Okay, so I'm going to show you the, the, the whole point of the video really was to show you how to make this envelope. Um, so very, very simple and it really is great for little gifts um, using a 12 by 12 sheet of, um, you can use 12 by 12 of card, uh, but I've actually chosen to use um, the DSP. Uh, it's quite strong, or quite thick, should I say. Um, it's suit more than suitable for this. And obviously you can use whatever papers you like. So I'm going to crack on and show you how to put this together. So you're going to need a 12 by 12 sheet of uh, DSP in whatever colours and things that you like. Bear in mind, please, that if you have um, a directional piece of DSP, then you need to watch out when you're doing your cutting. Okay, this is directional. Now I know that I want the envelope to be like that. So my first measurement, because it is 12 inches, the, the measurement you're going to need is 12 inches by eight and a quarter inches. So I need to cut to eight and a quarter inches. Or if you're doing it, um, if you're doing it in centimeters, you need a piece uh, 30.5 by 21 centimetres. Okay. Or 12 by 8 and a quarter inches. Now, scoring with the long, uh, short side at the top, the piece that you're going to use um, as your flap, the this flap, the top one, that is going to be scored at 1 inch. Now I've moved mine over to the right hand side because it's easier for me, but some of you will obviously start from one inch, so you will need to turn your paper round to one inch, okay? I just find it easier to use the one inch mark on this side. Score it at one inch, and then I'm going to turn it purely because I would have scored there. And then the, the second score, is at seven and a half inches. Be careful you don't over score it because you will crack your DSP. Right, so that's your two first um, score lines. Sorry, if you were scoring in centimeters, you needed um, the two centimeters on the large flap. Or two and sorry, two and a half centimeters on your large flat, and the second one would have been at 19 centimeters. Then I'm going to turn it and I'm going to score with the long side at the top at three and a half inches, 
and eight and a half inches. Oops, nearly grabbed the cutter there. And that is your scoring. So if you were doing this in, in centimetres, it would have been 8.9 centimetres and 21.6 centimetres. Okay, that's it. The next thing we are going to do is we're going to cut it. Now I found that um, it was easier because there is so much going on on here. Um, I decided to turn it over and also if you're um, if you prefer you can fold your lines before you cut I'm actually going to cut before I fold mine um, the other thing what, that I did was I used um, a pencil and I just went round and cut the bits I didn't want sorry I didn't even explain which pieces that you've got to cut off right um, you're gonna have a corner here 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 and here you've got to take those off okay so it's here 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 and here inside your score lines okay so I'm using my long scissors whenever I do anything like this I like to use a long pair of scissors really difficult to see I might have to bend that one a little bit Really, really difficult to see on this paper. Maybe should have chosen an easier one to show you how to do it. Just snip that off there. This one. Right there. It's a beautiful sunny day today, isn't it? So you love it when it's warm. Mind you, they say it's going to get cold again by the Easter weekend, which is such a shame. Because we could all have done with a bit of sunshine, a bit of cheery. Makes you always feel so much better when the sun's shining. Well, it does me anyway. There we go. And that is it. So that's the shape that you will have. And then you can fold your, as I say, try not to um, be too harsh with it because you do not want to crack your paper. Okay, now on your um, top flap, you are going to snip a wedge out of it. Okay, you are just going to have to be a certain size or anything like that no one's going to be looking that closely I'm sure so that's your top your bottom um, you do not need to do it um, you are going to well you yes let's go ahead and do that snip there and snip there okay so now it looks like that. Okay, you can see that. Now the, oops, that's the top. What I do, I don't know, you might not want to bother with this, you might just want to do it by eye. I'm going to have the right folding over the left. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to cut. I'm going to go from here because when you fold that over it sometimes gets in the way so what i like to do is i like to um cut i'll, I'll show you i measure just to pro everything's approximate maybe half a centimeter I go from there and then i draw a line from there to my corner Okay, and I'm going to cut that out. You may find you don't want to do this. You, it's entirely up to you. I just find this looks neater. So then when you close it, 
and then need to cut off need to cut off this piece now I've done that that way that's wrong I've done that wrong haven't I have I done that wrong so if I have that going up like that yes so then I go there and just along there. Whoops. So you may find a much, much easier way to do this. This way to do this. And put that up there. And when you close that, you've got this nice angle. I thought I'd done it wrong for a minute. I was going to cry because I haven't got any of this lovely paper left. I would have cried. <laughs> Not had a very good few days. Right. Then all you do is you pop some glue on your top. You just need it along the edge there and just perhaps a little bit on the edge of this one. some along here Tombow is absolutely brilliant for things like this because it grabs quickly and it holds okay so there is your pocket how simple was that how very simple was that much much easier to make something look pretty isn't it by if you make things like this um i have cut out some <coughs> excuse me i have cut out some shapes exactly the same shapes as i've already done <coughs> oh excuse me i need to take a drink so that's it I shall be adding that to that. I'm going to stamp on here and then I've got myself a little butterfly from the um, Butterfly Bijou, which I'm papers, which are unfortunately no longer available. Absolutely gutted that they are no longer available too because they were very, very popular. Um, as always, sell out the best. So when I say to you, grab it quick, um, that's not just a sales technique, that's just a, if you want it, get it. Don't stop and think about it because things do sell really quickly. Okay, I'm not going to do it on there, I'm going to put it here. So I'll show you what um, products I've used. Got, oh no, oh no. May have to do that one again. Ooh, yes, I'm going to have to. Sorry, I cannot have that one because that will be covered in glue. I'm going to grab myself some um, more gold foil and I'm going to die cut another one, which is quite good because you'll see me cutting what I need. If I can find what I need. I'm using my layering circles and I'm just using the second biggest, or is it the third? Third biggest die. And I'm just going to cut some um, out of gold foil, as I say. Always happens on camera, doesn't it? You mess up. Hey ho, doesn't matter. It is what it is. I'm not going to gut this one. I, normally I would take the insides out, but because I've already done the filming for this, or the prep, should I say, for this, I'm not going to spend my time. 
doing another one. So that will go there. I'm going to stamp on this now and stamp an emboss because that's what I like to do. Um, I've actually used the, uh, which I thought was quite apt, a little something just for you um, from the Fancy Phrases stamp set. That again is going to be retiring. Again, I'm absolutely gutted. One of my favourite go-to stamp sets in this past year. Um, I was really upset that that's not gone through. There. I suppose we have to make way for the new stuff. There we go. That'll be fine. I'm just going to give that a quick wipe. Because that ink will stain my stamp. Okay. I'm just going to pop over and put some um, embossing powder on that now. Very quickly. And I'm going to definitely use a pair of tweezers today because this can get quite can get quite warm when you're trying to do um, your heat embossing. So you don't waft it about, just go over it and it will all melt. Can you see that? I don't think you can, I'm not too close. There we go. It's beautiful, absolutely love the effect of eating bottom. As you know. And I do a saying that is generally my go-to thing. And I do a sentiment. I'm going to pop these on, um, pop this on dimensionals. I'm only going to put a couple on there. No need to put lots on. I'm just going to pop a tiny bit of glue on the back of each. Just in case I put it somewhere that I don't want it. I love the... Um, red, gold and white. I think that's beautiful. I wanted to give it just a little bit of oomph, you know, because like I say, you, you can't really do an awful lot with, well, you could, but I personally wouldn't do a lot with on this paper because it is quite fussy. Um, I don't need any more fuss on it. So a nice little butterfly. Just add in on the corner there. And then, of course, we've got to have, we have to have a sparkle somewhere. You notice I haven't used any Winker Stella and I haven't, oh, and I haven't used, oh, let's get a different one. <laughs> um, I haven't used Wink of Stella and I haven't used, um, oh, I haven't got any more of that size left. What's this one? I haven't got Winker Stella on it and I haven't got any of my, um, glitter powder on it there we go so that will be done and then I'm just going to pop this onto my car uh, my bag and of course you can make these all different um, sizes but obviously um, yeah, you could make it perhaps wider with less on the back, you know, less folded over on the back. Um, and of course, you can make it much deeper too because you've cut it at eight and a quarter or something like that. Yes, eight and a quarter, whereas you can go up to sort of 12, the full 12 inches. But um, this was perfect size for me to do my little... My little bag, my little um, bags of bath salts smell lovely. Lots of lovely, lovely smelliness. Okay, that's not even a word, is it? 
Right, I'm just going to pop this what uh, this um, metallic, it's called metallic mesh, rib mesh ribbon. I'm going to attach this ribbon. I tried doing a bow. I wasn't very successful with a bow. Um, but I actually quite like the look of just having a knot. Of course, you can do this with or without the ribbon. And you can do it with a bow or not a bow. It's entirely up to you. I just tied a knot. Always difficult when you just only got one hand doing it. There we go. Seagulls are being a bit vocal. So. Lovely, lovely stuff. You can use it, you know, you can sort of um, attach that to a card as is. Beautiful. Won't waste any of those bits either. Terrible, really. It was very much a hoarder. Okay, and that is my little envelope, gift envelope. Is that better? They're sort of sticky up here. Don't like them sticking up. Need to flatten them down a bit. Anyway, there you go. Um, I hope you've enjoyed um the little video today i really want to thank you for popping by um all the details of the products i've used are down below um in the show more bit uh, i'll always put um what i've used and uh, a link to directly to my shop my shop link is down the bottom there too along with my blog details um and anything else that you want to um have, whatever way you want to contact me is the details are down below um yeah uh that's about it and i thank you again for stopping by uh if you like what you've seen today please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you later bye bye now